Yo, what's up guys, it's Sansa and welcome to my Fresh Basic Guide. I'll be doing another guide for like the more advanced stuff like mechanics and how to be a god like Fresh, but in this video I'll be teaching the basics and how to get started off with Fresh. For Fresh's passive is Damnation and every time an enemy dies or a minion dies or also drone creatures it will drop a soul and it's your job to go up and collect it. Fresh is a champion that doesn't level up with armor so picking up a soul is really important as it grants him armor and also AP so it, yeah it's pretty important as it makes him stronger throughout the game. For Fresh's Q is called Death Sentence and what it does is Fresh throws a hook and if it lands on an enemy champion it pulls them towards Fresh for around like 2 steps towards him and what you can also do is if it lands you can press Q again and Fresh will fly towards them and it's just an amazing ability just to get kills and just make picks around the map. Fresh's W is called Dark Passage and this ability is just amazing for solo key. What it does is Fresh throws out a lantern which gives a nearby ally a shield and also if they click on it they can go towards your current location and this ability is just so great for solo queue because they can just save your allies multiple times. For Fresh Z it's called Flate and then there's the passive side to it and then there's the active side to it. For the passive side to it, Fresh's basic attack does bonus magic damage and increases with the time he spent from his last all attack so this ability like can be used to harass a lane. So every time like the AD carry goes, goes up to CS, you can go up to him and just um, harass him with your all attack then wait for a couple seconds and just repeat and repeat and it's really good for trading in lane. Now for Fresh's active side of his flay, you can use them two, two ways. You can flay them in or you can flay them out. It just comes down to the situation. For, for example, if you hit the any AD carry, you want to flay them in towards you so you can kill them. Or like, for example, if a tank tries to go onto your AD carry, you can flay them away so you can use it both ways for engaging and for disengaging. And it also can be used to interrupt other abilities from other champions, for example Tristana, Jump, Cool Keys, W, uh, it can stop Vi's Q or Jarvan CQ, it, it all comes down to timing it so it's, it's going to take a while to master his flay. For Fresh is almost Cool Box and this ability Fresh summons a box which has 5 walls around and what this does is that if an enemy champion walks into a wall, it slows them down by 99% for 2 seconds and that's a lot. And on top of that, it does so much damage as well. But once the wall's been broken by an enemy champion, the remaining walls won't do damage but it will also slow them by 1%. So yeah. So this ability can be used like for disengaging, for peeling, engaging and it's so great for 2v2s as well for the bot lane. So you want to use it when you hook the other AD carry or support. You want to flay them or hook them into the box so it does the damage and it also slows them down there so it's just an overall just a great ability. For skill order I like to max out my Q, E, the W then a point in all when you can. Uh, at level 3 you can take a point in E for more damage for your E passive harass but it's also a personal preference to be fair and for uh, summoners I like to take Ignat Flash. I take Ignat because I like to have a kill lane I want to win my lane so that's why I take Ignat but you can also take his also as well like I said it's also a personal preference but it's also it's more for team fighting so yeah that's what I run on fresh. Now for Fresh's runes I like to run AD marks, health per level yellows, uh, CDR glyphs per level and armor um, quints and this rune page is pretty standard for me. Uh, I kind of switch around my glyphs sometimes. Now I'm running the CDR per level glyphs. I used to run flat CDR. Um, you could also run the MR or like MR per level. It just comes down to personal preference to be honest, but this is the standard room page I run for Fresh. For Fresh's Marshes, I like to run 0, 18, 12 and have a, the Keystone Fondalos as I want to have a kill lane, you know, I just want to just body off the other pot lane, so yeah, it, Fondalos really synergizes as well with Fresh, so yeah, just having that bonus damage is going to really help in lane when you want to kill the other pot lane. But you can also run 0, 12, 18 and have um, Bonded Stone as a Keystone if you want to be more tanky and want to be peeling more, but it also comes down to personal preference to be fair but yeah I just like to run my fun laws on fresh. Now for Fresh's items I like to go into lane with a uh, relic shield and three pots and a trinket. That's just standard to be fair and when I go back it all depends if I get a kill or not. So if I get a kill I like to get boots and I'll probably go for boots or swiftness and go to the mid lane and get a kill. But if you don't get a kill you can get a uh, side stone and then swap your yellow trinket for a, a sweeper. And for the core items, I like to uh, finish my face or mountain, lock it, and it just all comes down to how the game is and how the enemy team comp is. But you can get Randwin's Frozen Heart, you can get Banner, uh, Miko Crucible, Formal, or ZZ Rock. But um, the question people will ask is like, would you take CDR, Boots, or Boots or Sniffers? And again, I said, 
uh, it all comes down how to the get how the game is and most of the time I go CDR boots because I like having a 40% on fresh but boost of swiftness is really good for roaming as well so that's my items on fresh so the reason why I think fresh is like one of the best supports in the game and really great for solo queue is just because of how great his kit is and how strong he can snowball when he gets ahead in lane but he can also be a miss because of the amount of skill he requires to play so you might want to take some time to actually get really great with him because he's so like reliant on landing his hook and overall using his kit to his max potential but the reason why I think he's so good in solo queue because he is a pick champion so you will get picks all over the map and um, people in lower elo don't really tend to ward as much so you can really take that and abuse it Another reason why I think he's so good as well is because he can be played aggressively or passively but I really pr prefer playing aggressive with fresh and most of the time people in your team will be out of position so using fresh can get him out of get them out of really bad situation with his lantern or E or his Q so he, overall he has a really great kit for solo Q. So laning with fresh is pretty much straightforward he goes well with pretty much any AD carry in the game he can be played passive or aggressively but I prefer playing aggressive. Uh, so he's a pretty much strong laner, um, he doesn't really have that much counter picks, Morgana and Alistair can counter him but to be fair I see yeah, as how skilled the players are but I do see why they counter him. But as fresh at level 1 you want to take E first and abuse the bonus damage you get so you want to go up to the enemy enemy carry when he goes up to CS and just flay or attack then fund the whole proc. But you want to, before you want to take a trade you want to check the minion wave before you go in because at early levels minions really really hurt so you want to take a good trade. But at level 2 you want to take the you want to take advantage of Fresh's power spike so what you want to do is you want to let your AD carry hit the last minion and in the meantime you want to be in position to flay or flash flay then Q like that power spike at level 2 as Fresh you really really want to take advantage of it because it's so strong but if you don't get a kill it's alright you get a summoners and you just tell the jungler to go come gank because ganking for Fresh is so free with a jungler because you can just land in him in and it's so hard to get um, just to get away from a Fresh and a jungler on top of that with the AD carry hitting you as well so you want to abuse it as well. So positioning fresh is pretty important just depending on how you're playing. If you're playing aggressive before you actually start doing that you make sure you have you have to have your lane wood because you'll be aware of the jungler ganks and you can pretty much get away. But just it will also give you information where the jungler actually is so your other laners can actually be safe as well. But you also want to be using the bushes as your advantage as well because it can also zone out the other they carry from farming on or even from XP because if the bush is not wooded then they will be so scared to actually come up for a CS and it's just the kill potential that Fresh has that it will just zone them off. And if you don't think you can get, can get a kill, so you're going to be playing passive but your AD carry can CS for free, then you should stand behind him and be ready to land him out just in case a uh, jungler comes for a gank. And if you get a kill early in the game then you can go back, get boots like I said already in my build and just go row mid or top depending on which lane goes, looks gankable. But also to make it work as well you can also ask the, jung the jungler for help because it makes the kill potential even more and it just helps just in case a counter gank comes as well so yeah you're gonna be on you're gonna be one step ahead with the jungler as well so this brings me to my next point and it's roaming as fresh and roaming as fresh is really like key to him because um he has a, a really great, great kit to roam and you need to take advantage of it so one good roam can make the enemy tilt and want to make them afk on whatever and not not like everyone expects the support to roam especially in low elo it, like if you roam in low elo as a support they will be so tilted they'll be like what the hell man like, <laughs> really, like really and also to pull off a good roam you will need good good map awareness to see how the lanes are and just before you roam you just make sure your AD carry is safe so just make sure you like ward before you actually roam or just tell him to you know play safe and just don't die because roaming as fresh is pretty important and not many AD carries really know that that that's how you're playing but yeah you want to roam as well as fresh so team fight with fresh is going to be different depending on how the enemy team comp is so you got to really take a time and think how you're going to actually team fight but what you really want to do is you want to hook the carries but if you have a lot of CDR you can pretty much hook anyone so catching up people will start a fight so you got to look for opportunities and just openings and just be aware of your surroundings but make sure you make like your team aware that you're actually going to go in on someone so make sure you ping like the person you're actually going to go in because if you try and make a play and you don't make them aware that you're going to go in then you're going to be pretty, pretty much screwed so yeah just make sure you actually like one step ahead before you actually make a play so what you want to do with your lantern is that you want to save it for allies that are positioned in team fights and overall just save them and for your flay what you want to do is you want to use it as pill or just interrupt other people's abilities such as like a tristana jump or a Vikey. 
And for your box, you can just use it as engaged. So for example, a flash flay box and then Q. So they either have to just stay in the box and just or just get hit by the walls and just get slowed. And what you want to do for a box as well for disengage is that you can just stop the enemy from getting your carries. So you just put up the box and they're just going to get slowed and your carries can actually get away. So for tips on fresh, what I have is that you can use your lantern for vision, for example, throwing it in the bush or the walls. It can give you like vision for a little bit of time and it gives you a bit of information as well. You can also use it for TPs. So you can put down your lantern and your teammate can actually TP to the lantern. And it's also good when you have no wards. And you can also use a lantern as well to pick up souls from like really awkward places. But you don't really want to use it too much as well because they, the enemy can take advantage of that and just gank you while you have no lantern because it's a pretty long cooldown. So landing your Q in lower elo, people try tend to juke backwards. So you kind of want to throw the, the hook like bit back from them. So they're going to tend to actually try to walk back and try to juke it just depending on how the positioning is. So for example, if they if you're right behind them, they're going to try to walk left or right. So you're going to try, you know, try to predict where they're going to try to move. So um, yeah, but throwing your first hook in lane or on someone can give you a lot of information on how they try to juke. So, so if you miss the first hook, then don't be, you know, really tilted about you missing the first hook because you will know how they were going to react to the next time. So you're pretty much like going to land the next hook because you, know, you know how they're going to move. And for your flay, like I said already, like you can interrupt like other champions abilities like cool keys, Valkyrie, Java's TQ, just so much things to do, you know, there's other, there's videos out there, you know, that has a list of what you can interrupt with um, Fresh's Flay, so you want to use your E to interrupt them so they can't escape. So people in low elo don't expect it, so like they, they tend to use their abilities with for their ability to escape without knowing the risk of it. So yeah, that's the tips I got on Fresh. But anyways guys, that's been my basic fresh guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Make sure you leave a comment, give it a like if you found it helpful. And make sure you subscribe for more guides and more videos such as the advanced fresh guide I've got coming soon. So make sure you subscribe to tune into the next one. And just remember, fresh takes time to master. Just keep practicing, practicing and you will become a great fresh. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.